Will AI replace humans, i.e. the two of us, when it comes to making good investment decisions? I wonder if AI or avatars will replace us in the metaverse. Hi, I'm Selena. And I'm Carmen. And welcome to Two Analysts and One Head. For today, we're going to talk about AI. If ChatGPT becomes sentient, will it have to pay taxes on its investment? Given the growth of ChatGPT and the many, many usage that we are starting to see in the broad economy, if there is a way to tax it, I'm sure the Ministry of Finance would love to do so. How are ChatGPT and AI developments affecting tech stocks? And is this rebound temporary? Well, I think we've seen that a lot of technology stocks have benefited from this whole interest in ChatGPT, especially companies which are dealing with big data, mm-hmm. cloud, software, as well as, of course, uh, semiconductor. Semiconductor is one of the largest, uh, what I would call, brain behind the whole uh, powering the whole chat GPT. So there are a lot of sectors that have done very well. In fact, yet to date, some indices have actually gone up to about 30-40%. So that is definitely a very strong indication of the trend ahead. But having said that, for the longer term, we believe that actually this is most likely here to stay. AI is definitely here to stay. It has been around for a long time. It's just that this generation of AI is a lot more interactive, a lot more creative and a lot, of course, a lot more content as well. Will AI automate your investment decisions? I or my. The whole investment climate is actually a very complex sort of situation and you still need to perhaps to understand the client's needs and, and I think a lot of this is still very far from being able to be automated at this point in time. So there is still a good long way for I think human to human interaction and also trying to understand market on a daily basis. Do bear in mind that actually there is some limitation because a lot of the data that you collect could possibly be a bit out of date by the time you gather it and to make an informed decision at this point in time you do need very current sort of information from someone with the knowledge. You know? I think yeah. I would concur. Mm. Um, ChatGPT probably uh, has a role to play in doing some of the yeah. basic research. Mm. And I think it basically avails you know, for investors a wide information uh, mm. base. But I think going ahead, you know, we have to recognise some of the limitations apart from the information mm. being outdated. The other point really is that it doesn't customise to each individual's uh, yeah. risk horizon or risk appetite, so I guess we still have to take it with a slight tone of caution. What's the one thing you really want AI to help you with? Oh, plan my holiday, definitely. <laughs> you can already do that. Didn't you go on I, holiday yeah, recently? Yeah, I did, I did. But obviously, you know, they can shorten my process by like half. That would be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Can we expect the technology sectors to be a key driver of China's economic growth this year? I think we are expecting the Chinese economy to rebound this year because last year was a very, very low growth base. Right, so we know that they have basically uh, abandoned their zero COVID approach. The economy is reopening, Chinese tourists are coming back out and starting to spend again. So that is a positive uh, you know, contributing factor for the regional economies. But I think for technology in itself, because it's a driver of innovation and also entrepreneurship within China, if that is sustained, I think that would be generally positive for the Chinese economy and also for growth in the medium term. We are starting to see AI kind of disrupt a lot of different sectors. So we talked a little bit about financial sector where it's starting to influence investment decisions. But I think if you look at the education sector, you know, even schools are grappling with whether to allow students to use ChatGPT to write their essays mm. or to submit projects. I think at the end of the day, um, you know, AI will probably disrupt some jobs. But I think in the process, we also probably will create some new jobs mm. to harness this new technology as well. Mm. So I wouldn't be too bearish about you know, the role of uh, technology in terms of automation. I think it's a very new growth industry and we're probably still exploring what are some of the risks and opportunities that come along with it.